unfinished business. Pat, start us off. You know, there was lots of times where people started panicking during that Bills game on Sunday against the Steelers, right? It wasn't when they went three and out on the opening kickoff, although it wasn't great. It wasn't when the offensive line started losing to every defensive player that Pittsburgh had. And it wasn't when Beth, Ben Roethlisberger managed to string together a couple of completions to drive them down the field. Those were all sustainable. The thing that nobody's talking about that really started to scare me were a couple of routine drops from Bill's wide receivers. And it wasn't anything that stood out. Cole Beasley, Stephon Diggs, Emmanuel Sanders, they were all victims of it. But that didn't happen last year. It never happened last year. In fact, I implore you to close your eyes and imagine one time that you saw Cole Beasley or Stephon Diggs drop a football last season. Didn't happen. Cole Beasley had arguably three drops in the first half. First one, I turned sideways and went, hmm, that's interesting. Second one was a little bit alarming. Third one, what is going on? Last year's Bills game, last year's Bills games went well because everything went well for the Bills. After 25, 30 years of having no luck at all as a Bills fan, we got all of it. And I think Sunday was a reminder that you're not going to be able to live every game on luck. That the Bills should have won that game. It was a simple difference of a block punt. But you're going to drop some balls. You're going to cough a few up when T.J. Watt tackles you from behind. And if the Bills are going to do what they are designed and destined to do this year, stuff's going to get cleaned up before next week.